Ghosts we see right through you. Ghosts, a misty orb, a cool presence, or a frightening phantom from beyond. Ghosts fascinate our imagination, haunt our dreams, and fuel our fears. This is one Halloween symbol that does hit the historical trifecta when it comes to having its roots firmly grounded, well, at least as firmly as a ghost can be grounded to anything, in Roman, Celtic, and Catholic traditions. Roman celebrations of the dead, Lumeria and Ferala, Celtic, is the Shawin festival of the dead and the Catholic All Saints Day. Losing a loved one is never easy. All cultures have developed their own beliefs, rituals, and customs to help cope and understand death. It's inescapable that our bodies come with a limited warranty for parts and services. Although the scientific research and development team is working feverishly to extend the boundaries of what our existing model's limitations are. Yet, what happens to our uniqueness, our spirit, our soul, when our bodies finally succumb to the ravages of time, wear, or unfortunate circumstances, has been one of the greatest mysteries and hardly debated topics of all time. Depending on what historical Halloween resource or expert is doing the telling, and if you've heard any of our other posts, you already know that we're hardly what you call a reliable resource, and the only things we're experts at is wandering off topic and butchering the English language. The Roman celebrations for the dead had some influence in eventually shaping the customs and rituals that led to Halloween. Exactly how much is uncertain. So we will move on some, onto some stronger evidence in the ghost vapor trail through the history of Halloween. So let's look back at those early Shawin festivals. For the sake of argument, we'll say the year is 50 AD. Just imagine harvest time is finally over. You are now entering the darkest and coldest time of the year. At least it is in the northern hemisphere. You know, the top half of the world, where the toilets actually flush in their proper direction. Eccentric King Ludwig will not host the first Oktoberfest for another 1750 years or so. The fall classic, your Johnny Depp and your Katy Perry's are still another two millennium away. Even the Jersey Shores are nothing more than another unremarkable tidal marsh. That reminds us, if someone shows up on a Halloween fun for all front doorstep, trick or treatings in the awful snooky outfit we saw at Spiro Halloween last night, so help us, we will sell our pumpkin farm, close down this blog, buy a rodent ranch, and open up shop at Groundhog Day for all. Well, where were we? Ah, yes, we were in the heart of Celtic territory. Year 50. We can almost hear it now. Mother, I'm bored. There's nothing to do. Angus, why don't you muck out your room, take your annual bath, and round up a druid priest? Tell him to build in a mince bonfire and start the animal sacrifices without me. I can't do a thing until I put together some goodies to place outside the f doors and the windows. Because as you know, lad, ain't no one happy until our restless, wandering, endoplasmic dead relatives are happy. And so it was from the very beginning of the Shawin festivals that we see a strong connection between what would eventually grow into Halloween and the ghostly spirit world. Remember, this is a very special time for the Druid priests and the Celtic people. It is a unique, ethereal time, a time for divination and a time for spirits to walk among the living. The supernatural and natural worlds merge as one. 
Now let's examine how the Catholic creation of All Saints Day affects Halloween in respects to our ghostly friends. All Saints Day had its foundation poured in 609 AD, but the blueprints to overlay the Catholic rituals on top of the Shawin traditions were drafted back in 601. Now with labor negotiation, permit delays, zoning regulations, and manufacturing shortages, the actual construction for All Saints Day was not completed until 998 AD. That is when a French monas monastic order. You try talking in a fake Transylvanian accent. It's not easy, especially when you're already challenged to speak the English. Let's try that again. That is when the French mon mon you know, that is a bear of a word for the count. That is when a French monastic order. There, monastic. What's so hard about that? I don't know. That is when a French monastic order, Cluny, began a special mass for all the departed Christian souls. The primary function of holding the mass was to pray for intercession on the part of all the souls in purgatory. Ghosts really begin to materialize around Halloween in the 1800s, as Americans enjoy telling ghost stories. Spirituality was spreading all across the young nation. Why, even before the great emancipator became legend for allegedly appealing stakes to the undead hearts, I don't like reading that sentence, folks, it really gives me the shivers, he gave his to Mary Todd. Both he and Mary were utterly devastated at the loss of their young son Willie. Many people claim that President Lincoln actually held seances in the White House. To this you might say, what does that have to do with ghosts and Halloween? To that reply, probably not much, other than it was a reflection of how widespread spirituality was accepted in those years. And that Halloween certainly is a perfect vehicle for examining all things ghostly. You only need to turn on your television to know that something remarkable is happening in Western culture regarding people's beliefs in ghosts. Clearly, spirits are on the rise. According to a 1978 Gallup poll, only 11% of Americans believed in ghosts. Less than the number of people who believed in Sasquatch or Nessie at the time. Today, poll after poll indicates that almost 50% of Americans believe in ghosts. If you want to learn more, please see Ghostly World at WordPress.com. Ghosts and paranormal shows dominate, or at least have more than a theory of presence on the satellite programming. Practically every network offers at least one ghost or haunting theme show, while there's even a show on Animal Planet, The Haunted, which chronicles animals' interactions with spirits from beyond. Regardless of your feelings on the ghost and spirit realm, the connection between Halloween started as a tribute to loved ones who had passed. And while not everyone welcomes an unplanned for vapory family reunion, it is sobering to reflect that we are just one link in an enormous chain of lives, choices, and events that ultimately allowed you to be here listening to us create this post. Regardless of what day it is, it's always worthwhile to pause and remember the true miracle of our existence. So from everyone here at Halloween Fun For All, we'd like to thank your ancestors, wherever they are, for allowing you to spend a few of your precious moments here as we spin laps around the sun together. <laughs>